<laughs> I don't get the rip on it. Boom, what's going on everybody? Yeah, this ain't exactly going to be a motor vlog. It's a Bigfoot edition. It's a hunting Bigfoot edition. Straight ahead. What's going on everybody? <laughs> I hope you're having a fantastic day. Yeah, this is this is kind of be a motor vlog you see me right now, but it's mostly gonna be a hunting Bigfoot edition. Like I said, you never know what you're gonna get on this channel. It could be, you know, a pew pew day, it could be yeah, it could be fishing stuff, it could be you never know, and including Bigfoot hunt. So to explain, first off we gotta do, you know what we gotta do. We gotta go this episode's famous women I'd like to date. And let's see here. You know what? I ain't gonna do a, a revisit. Let's do a. I didn't know it. I I have her on my list, and I had did not know that I had not mentioned her. And uh, that's gonna be Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! We do like me some shrimp, Michelle Pfeiffer. And coming up Sunday the 16th at 5 p.m. Central Time. I'll be on Rady Riders channel doing a uh, live interview. And uh, you'll find out about the Michelle Pfeiffer thing uh, for one of the questions that he's gonna ask me. So uh, be sure to check that out at 5 p.m. Sunday the 16th. And uh, I'll be uh, be interviewed live by Rainy Rider. So go over there and check that out link in the description but yeah Michelle Pfeiffer even though she's you know a little bit older than me definitely uh definitely a <laughs> oh it is damn did it rain look at all this wetness it, it ain't supposed to rain it's just cloudy as hell but that wasn't there that was not there the other day so it is rain Yeah, okay, ADD kicked in. So yeah, you know the routine. If anybody that knows anybody that could possibly know somebody that might know anybody that get a hold of somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that might know Michelle Pfeiffer, or somebody that get a hold of Michelle Pfeiffer. Let's see if I can beat this guy. Yeah, I can beat him. <laughs> Anybody can get a hold of anybody that can get a hold of Michelle Pfeiffer. Tell her I am available. Give me a call. I don't know if you've noticed the last couple of videos I've been hearing a little pop in the audio. Just slightly pop. So I've switched back to the damn Evo. And the only thing bad about the Evo, it could be the helmet too, is it's not very good sound quality at a higher speed. So if I'm hauling ass, you know, above 60 mile an hour, I probably won't be talking because usually it doesn't sound that great with this uh, Evo, that's a uh, Santa S10 Evo. Back to that though, because that damn, and I noticed also I went out just for a little bit and the battery died. I mean, quick. So, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, they have an audio issues. It just sucks. But back to the Evo. All right. So to explain, me and my brothers, we, we used to when I lived there a lot. We would go amateur. We were amateur bigfoot hunters. We would actually do it. We would go out there at night and uh, and you know do some bigfoot hunting. And uh, uh, it was a fun time. It was a fun time. You know out there in the middle of the, usually we would go to Ocala National Forest and uh, I mean we've seen we seen something out there we couldn't explain what it was uh, it was big it was walking upright and it was hairy 
And that was not a bear. I'm telling you, this thing was huge. I'm going to see my uh, the sign. That, oh, somebody's there. I'm going to stop in here and uh, bug somebody here. Somebody getting a ticket. I'll be right back with y'all. I'm going to bug somebody at Hoog and see what's going on here. All right, well, I said goodbye to my buddy Joey there. And uh, we're going to see what happens. They're talking to somebody buying that shop. So we'll have to see what happens. But like I was saying, we go Bigfoot hunting just uh, mainly to drink a bunch of beer and scare the hell out of the kids. We've seen bears and everything else out there. But uh, like I said, one time, that's how we started doing this stuff. Was we saw about a mile away, we were on a dirt road, like a two trail. If you don't know what a two trail is, it's where you have two tire tracks where it's worn to the dirt, grass growing up in the middle. That's the two trail. And uh, on a hill, we were about a mile away, we seen something walk out the, of the, uh, the woods. It was upright. It was during hunting season, and under law, if you're out there hunting, you have to be wearing orange. It was not wearing orange. It was a good, we guesstimated it seven foot tall. And, uh, of course, it was hairy. It was brown. And it, it, it walked, it just kind of lumbered, walked upright across the road. And we're all like, what the hell is that? And uh, so we waited a minute. We weren't going to run down there instantly to, to see what it was or anything. And we went down there and we couldn't, you know, after a couple minutes, we went down there. We couldn't find anything. Couldn't find no tracks or nothing. But that started it. That started it. And then we started going out there at night, camping out overnight and everything else. We also had something, we were in a pop-up camper deep in the, in the middle of the Ocala National Forest one time. And we had something rock the camper, literally rock the camper. And I mean talking to the point where everybody bailed out with, with pew pews. And, because whatever rocked the camper, I mean it rocked the hell out of the camper. And you could hear it running off. And it sounded to me like two feet, not four. So uh, yeah. And that was about like 2 o'clock in the morning one time. And for somebody to be out there in that forest at 2 a.m. in the morning in the middle of nowhere and where there's a staggering amount of bears out there and everything else is just idiotic. So uh, we don't know what it was, but it, it scared the piss out of us. And uh, so we do we do big fun. And, but uh, this is what it looks like this time. Hey. We brought Scooby Snacks for Bigfoot. Hey y'all, stand by for uh, yeah. the world's dumbest Bigfoot expedition during the day. <laughs> Hang around. All right. Uh, now I know traditionally, I flip my thing up. Traditionally, uh, Bigfoot hunting is done at night and we'd usually do it at night. But we just they had the uh, the chance to come out here at night, and this is the only chance we get to do it. So we're just out here exploring and hunting for Bigfoot, and we have seen we are in the Ocala National Forest, and we have seen something out here one time that we couldn't explain. It was about eight foot tall, walking upright and hairy. During hunting season, when you're supposed to have orange on, and it was it was big, but we couldn't catch up to it. We just couldn't catch up to it. So that's why we come here. And there's and there's tracks all by this water. Of course this is a this is Florida the freaking beach sand. So uh along with Apalachicola, Ocala National Forest. Well that's a croaking frog. Is uh one of the major hotbeds of uh oh uh, bigfoot sightings in florida major hotbeds uh okay or uh, apalachicola or uh, a little bit more but uh close second is ocala national forest and like i said we are you hear me breathing deep deep in the in the forest because we don't we don't even know where we're at we're, we'll come out somewhere hopefully hopefully we don't get stuck all right 
it's official. We found Bigfoot scat. Here, uh, Jojo, taste this to make sure that's what it is. Hey, Joe, do a Bigfoot call. Turn your miracle ear up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I found this over here, and I've been treaching through the wood, guys. You can hear my breath. Hey, I found a Bigfoot bed. I found a Bigfoot bed, Joe. <laughs> oh, is that a camel? No. Oh. I'm actually a little paranoid to be back here in the woods by myself. I shouldn't be back here by myself, away from everybody. All right, I'm going to return the group. So if you watch all the Bigfoot stuff, you know that this is a natural sign of Bigfoot. Look at the green leaves still on this, or this, you know, the needles, I mean. But that tree's been pushed over. Hmm, could it be Bigfoot? Could it be the wind? We don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm filming you, filming me. While we're in Bigfoot country. And, uh, have no doubt. Why are they pointing? Have no doubt that this area is full of bears. I mean, absolutely. What is this? Oh no! That... Oh yeah! Yep. We're gonna go look. I guess. Pull forward, Jojo. Who would live back here? Okay, I don't want to put that on camera. There is something back there. I didn't need that ankle. I see a tent and a vehicle. Hey, I see a tent and a vehicle. I see a tent and a vehicle. So I didn't record it. I did have the cameras going. I ain't going to show you, but we came across a uh, a little community deep in the woods. Uh, let's just say one of the kind of places that you kind of don't want to run across deep in the woods because they're out here for a reason and uh, we kind of got out of there this is how it usually ends up oh whoa whoa and of course it won't start now All right. I thought you was taking him up there. Learn how to drive. Oh. Now we're all stuck. Bigfoot's gonna get us for sure. Quit laughing, it ain't funny. <laughs> Take your turns. Crank, crank, crank. Uh oh, we're done. Hey, we're broke down in the middle of Bigfoot country. Come help us.
All right. It's not an adventure until it's an adventure. Of course, uh, my brother thought his four-wheel drive, non-four-wheel drive, excuse me, thing could go through that, which it didn't. Now it won't start. Towed out by my other brother. And uh, guess what? His truck broke down while he was towing us out. Of course, it does say Dodge on it. That could be the reason. But we do have another four-wheel drive vehicle yet to pull everybody out. I don't know. All right. Well, the good news is we was able to get both Dodges towed out. Uh, this one actually started running again. But this one ain't. So uh, the saga continues. Yeah, so there you go. So much for Bigfoot hunting. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it don't work out. Like I said, we went out during the day. That's the only chance we had. Uh, usually we go out at nighttime. And uh, uh, I've never recorded out there when we've done it. But it gets some, it gets some hairy stuff happening, man. Some stuff that makes you question what the hell's going on out there. Some weird stuff. And yes, we have woken up in the morning and find bear tracks right through the through the campsite and everything else and just all kind of stuff before. But that was just a morning trip, of course the vehicles broke down, all kind of stuff, and it didn't work out that great. But that's how you bigfoot hunt sometimes. Sometimes it's you know it's an adventure either way. And it definitely was an adventure. So a little something different. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a thumbs up, that's important. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe. And, uh, and I do appreciate everybody that has subscribed to the channel. So, uh, like I said, and here comes the ADD. Where was I at? <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate that crap. So, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe. I know this is a little different if you come along for a motor vlog, but every once in a while I'll chunk something on here that's not motor vlog related or pew pew related. But uh, yeah, if I get the chance, we'll do some nighttime Bigfoot hunting next time. We were talking about uh, going to a different place this time. We got ate up with ticks, man. We all had ticks on us. Man, that's bad this time. All right. You know how it goes. If you have served, or if you're currently serving in the military, if you're a firefighter, EMS, first responder, especially law enforcement, if you're in the healthcare industry, if you are a truck driver delivering all them goods so we can uh, get, have a good life, you stand up for your rights, vote, all that stuff. By the way, there's some votes coming up here in Central Texas, early voting on the 24th. Uh, you know, just local stuff. You got to vote, you know, you should vote in all your local stuff, too. Uh, we appreciate everything you do and the sacrifice that you and your families have made. Ladies, flash a stranger today. Boom. <laughs>